Hello, my name is Ewan, and today I'll be showing you the easiest way to render a panorama for your Minecraft resource packs. So this works in Minecraft 25W37A or newer, that is the 1.21.9 update. So what we're going to need to do is enable debug mode. So we go to the installations tab, we find the version we want to play, which is this one here, or the installation we want to play, click edit, turn on more options, scroll down and you'll find the JVM arguments. If we go to the end of this, I already have the stuff here, but I'm going to copy all of this and put it into a text editor so we can see it. Ooh. These last two options normally are not there. So you just copy everything out so you can see all of them here. And then at the end, you want to do a space and then add these two options. So it's dash D MC for Minecraft. So Minecraft underscore debug underscore enabled. So you want dash D MC underscore debug underscore enabled. And that enables debug mode. The next one we want is dash D mc underscore debug underscore panorama underscore screenshot and that enables the panorama screenshot debug feature if we go to this page on the minecraft wiki you can actually see all of the debug options that are currently supported in the game so once you've edited this here don't change anything else in here because it can cause your game to break only change those if you know what you're doing but i'm going to copy all of this and put it back into here and then save the changes quick disclaimer that this does use debug mode and this is unstable and can cause your game to crash or corrupt worlds. So make sure you back up any worlds before you do this. Or, and also remember to turn them off before you go back to regular gameplay. So let's click play on this and wait for the game to load. Let's full screen it and let's load into a world. So here we are, let's wait for all the terrain to generate. And there we go. So in order to take a panorama screenshot, normally you just press F2 to take a screenshot. But to take a panorama screenshot, you just line up wherever you want to look to be like at the front in the menu when you load the game. So I want this way to be behind the menu when I first load up, and then it's going to turn this way. So I'm going to look this way, up and down doesn't matter, it'll always be forwards. And instead of pressing F2, I'm going to hold control and then press F2. You'll see it says saved screenshot as .minecraft. That message doesn't work properly. But if you go to your screenshots folder, you will see you now have five panorama screenshots. These will always save to your screenshots folder with the same names. So make sure that you don't have any old screenshots in here you want to keep. Make sure they're backed up first because any new screenshots will overwrite the old ones. You see if I do it again, if I face this way, it's replaced those with that one. So let's go back and do that again to get the ones I want. Go in here and then I'm going to copy all of these and I'm going to move these into my resource pack. I have set up a template resource pack quickly. So in my resource packs, I've called it Panorama Test. In here, I'm going to go to Assets, Minecraft. I only need the Textures folder. I only need the GUI folder. I only need the Title folder. And I only need the Background folder. And then in here, I can delete everything and then add in these panoramas. So in your resource pack, these go in the Assets, Minecraft, Textures, GUI, Title, Background folder. And then you don't need to rename them at all because the game has given them to you in the right format. So if I go back to the main menu, you'll see I currently have this default panorama from the 1.21.9 update. But if I go to Options, Resource Packs, I can use the new search bar to uh, search for it, but it isn't showing up. I have probably made a mistake in my pack.mc meta file. Okay, I figured it out. The description is required. It's not optional in the pack.mc meta. So in your resource packs, just make sure you have a description as well as the uh, new min format and max format. And that way they'll then show up in game. So now that we have the panorama test showing up here, we can turn that on, click done. It's gonna load it and we should see our panorama is now in the background. It's not showing up facing the way that we're expecting because the uh, it is already rotating, but if we quit the game and then restart it, we should see that when it loads up, the way it's facing is the way that we were initially looking in game when we took the panorama. So there we go. This is how you create a panorama screenshot nice and easily using the new panorama debug screenshot renderer. Thanks for watching.